everyone, it's Bretta Riches here from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about why cushioned running shoes are unsafe for runners besides how these shoes cause a runner to heel strike. So much time, money and effort is poured into making cushioned running shoes with using the most quote unquote advanced shoe technology, yet most runners get injured or feel some sort of discomfort during running. As you know, heel strike running is the most common running form and those that run in this particular way typically wear cushion heeled running shoes. But what I'm about to tell you might fully convince you to now become a minimalist or even better, a barefoot runner. During the manufacturing process of the standard running shoe, so when I mean standard running shoe, I'm talking about a running shoe with a massively thick cushion heel. The underheel cushioning undergoes a series of material tests, specifically two types of tests, which are called the dynamic tests and the second one is called the static test. The dynamic test examines how the heel cushioning responds to the impact of a heel strike landing. This impact is also known as the spontaneous impact transient. It is only generated in a heel strike landing, but is absent in a forefoot strike landing. And that is one of the reasons why forefoot running is much safer than heel strike running. The dynamic test involves a weight being dropped on the heel, and this is how a heel strike landing is simulated. The second test, which is a static material test, this test measures shock absorption based on the amount of deformation on the heel cushioning, which is produced by a mass with a certain weight and shape. But one study found, which I will link below, the study discovered that these types of material testing does not accurately predict nor reflect the actual impact generated in a heel strike landing. This means that it is hard to determine if the under heel cushioning of most running shoes can actually handle the intense ground reaction force produced at heel strike during running. In fact, another study revealed that the impact shock of heel strike running did not reduce in running shoes with double the amount of heel cushioning. This is because runners landed harder with increasing midsole thickness. What this means is that runners typically land with harder landing behavior when wearing thicker cushion running shoes. So the more cushioning that is under the foot, the harder the runner presses down on the ground when running and this results in greater impact than if the runner were to run in thinner, more flatter footwear like minimalist running shoes. Because of this response, according to Barefoot Advocate in McGill University in Montreal, Dr. Stephen Robbins, states that material tests on standard running shoes does not account for the natural shock moderating behavior of a runner. In other words, material tests do not accurately reflect the landing behavior of a runner wearing fit cushion heeled running shoes. Runners actually land much harder in their cushion running shoes, much harder as compared to the impact force generated during the two material tests I briefly described. I also like how Dr. Stephen Robbins makes it a point to say that runners land harder in cushion running shoes during running, but land significantly lighter when running barefoot or in much thinner shoes. This is because the nerves in the bottom of the feet, which play such a fundamental role in the development of proper biomechanics, deliver sensory impact reducing messages to the spinal cord and brain, helping regulate movements in the legs and feet so that a runner ends up reflexively controlling their landing intensity. The thinner the shoe, the more heightened awareness you will have with respect to your landing intensity during running. And this is why it's so important for forefoot running learners to train barefoot or in super thin minimalist shoes until they develop the proper foot withdrawal movements in the leg during running that result in less impact. If you are a new forefoot runner and you are experiencing pain but your mechanics are really good, your shoes might be too thick and the midsole thickness of your running shoes could be causing you to slam your leg harder into the ground. So try training barefoot or in minimalist shoes to learn to ease up on your forefoot landing and generate less impact on your overall body. For more information on the mechanical differences between forefoot running and heel strike running, head on over to my blog, runforfoot.com, where you will also find my reviews and recommendations on barefoot inspired footwear that are most suitable for forefoot running. So have fun out there on the road. Bye for now.